It is Thursday. That means Dr. Joe is here to answer your pet questions. If you have a problem with your pet, you can give us a call. The number is 460-KJRH. And last week, I told you Dr. Joe would be bringing along a cat whose name started with T. So what is it? Tunces. Tunces. <laughs> the driving cat. <laughs> Named after the famous driving That's cat right. from Saturday Night Live yes, back absolutely. in the 80s. So we have a side-by-side -side comparison here, Dr. Joe. There's your Tunces on the left, and Tunces, the driving oh, cat from SNL right on the right. I mean, you did a I'm great job you, here, Dr. Is, Joe. This is wonderful. This may be the same cat. Just, They're like twins. Yeah, right. Reincarnated <laughs> genetically. But she probably can't drive a car. Not yet. We're, we're working on that. Uh, <laughs> She's awfully cute. Yeah, she is awfully cute. She's about 13, 14 weeks old. Um, she was a sibling to those other two little cats last week. And it's amazing you can how many colors you can get out of one breeding, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but she's a good little, little cat. She's the most active out of all three of them. That's why she didn't come last week and she gets to be by herself because she'll probably run away here in a second. <laughs> but she's a good little cat. She's over at Heritage and um, the number over there, 627-8575. 627-8575. All yep. right, good deal. Right. Let's get to your phones here. We have Sheila and Morris. Good morning, Sheila. Good morning. Hi. What's your question? Um, I have a little Boston Terrier, uh -huh. eight years old. Her name is Peaches. Mm -hmm. And she's had problems with allergies in the past, but she's developed something where she's swallowing all the time. Hmm. She's acting like her throat's really bothering her, and it causes her to throw up a lot. Yeah, how long has she done that for? Uh, probably about a year. About a year, okay. Sometimes there's some gastrointestinal things, and, and it's really not kind of allergies, although they can, you know, swallow some mucus or whatever. You know, the first thing is to kind of have your veterinarian kind of look at her and make sure, you know, uh, you know, kind of kind of go over some stuff with you. I mean, maybe it's in her diet and making her have indigestion or something. Uh, the other kind of swallowing stuff, you know, kind of have a good look back there, make sure there's not a bad tooth or something like that, too. So mm -hmm. kind of start by looking in her mouth. All right, next up we have Carol in Muskogee. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. Hi. What's yes, your question? I have a five-year-old English Bull Terrier, uh -huh. and he's always smacking and, like, and belching, and his has horrible yes. breath. Yes, yes. I have one, too, and that's... <laughs> terribly <laughs> sounds ter lovely. Ter uh, ter terribly normal. Uh, no, they do have a lot of uh, uh, burping and uh, flagellation, and they can sure kind of do that a lot. Um, it is at five though. You do want to look in the mouth and make sure that their teeth are okay. Every once in a while there'll be one because their teeth actually don't match up. That's part of the beauty of their mouth there, and they will get some infected teeth or something like that. Um, kind of like the last caller. I mean, really have someone look in there and kind of make sure. But they do smack a lot. They have a lot of saliva. Uh, our dog burps a lot. Uh, she will throw up a lot. Yeah, it's just they're just you know. <laughs> you got your hands full. Yeah, well they get in those moods, you know. But mm -hmm. and overall, they're really pretty good. So, but it may be, and again, maybe the food too. Kind of sure. review that as sure. well. So let's get to one more call here. It's Sheila in Old Mulgee. Good morning, Sheila. Good morning. Hi. Hi. I live on a farm, mm -hmm. and my dogs uh, run around in the woods, and they're always bringing home presents, skunks, and mm -hmm. possums. They've mm -hmm. had their rabies shots, but I'm wondering if... Um, they could still contract rabies? Um. You, usually not. Rabies is a great vaccine. That's one of the ones that really is, is, is good and long-lasting. Uh, that, that particular vaccine is, is good. The other deal that I'd make sure that your dogs have is a, is a vaccine for leptospirosis. Uh, that's a little bacteria that can be carried sometimes by these guys uh, in their urine and stuff, and, and a lot of times they can contract it. So that's one you want to make sure that they have, too, as well as the other ones. There's just temper and parvo and stuff. But that's one that they can catch out there. So, all right. And if you want to adopt uh, Tunsis, you can also go online, right? Absolutely. AnimalAid.org. Animal yes, sir. And Dr. <laughs> Landers is here every Thursday to answer your pet questions. And if you missed any of today's segment, you can go to kjrh.com and click on the Lifestyle tab to watch it again. Learn about other pets who need homes and find out more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital. Dr. Joe and Tunsis, thanks Thank for coming in. Thank you so much. In. You bet. Have did he drive day. you over here? Yes, he did. We're, we're in, in <laughs> and he made it safe. Yes. Well, we had a few. You know, but. <laughs> Pretty it went amazing. okay. It went okay. <laughs> Aaron, back to you. <laughs>